Hey guys, it's Tupro or Adam, and one thing I have noticed a lot lately is a lot of people are complaining about the point system here in BO4 Zombies. So, for those of you that don't know, the point system has been completely changed and redesigned. So today, I'm going to go over how this new system works and give you four awesome tips on how to get a ton of points in game. I wanted to mention one thing regarding all of the ideas you guys have been submitting regarding all the top fives and top tens for BO4 Zombies. But if you guys want me to see them like 100 percent please tweet me all of your ideas i have my link to my twitter in the description or i'll throw my handle on screen right now if you tweet me your ideas there is a very high chance that i will see your idea and probably end up using it and of course guys the giveaway is still going on right now on the channel to enter it is so easy all you have to do is drop a like on the video go ahead and comment right now what one of these prizes do you want to win along with the platform and of course make sure you're subbed and if you guys have any crazy clips here in bo4 zombies any glitches or bugs or awesome moments and you want to go ahead and share them and be featured on the channel go ahead and submit all of your clips via the email or the twitter you see on screen right now and besides that guys let's go ahead and get into some amazing tips on how to get a ton of points here in BO4 Zombies. The first thing I want to do before we jump into the four spot is I want to break down the point system here in BO4 because it is very different from what we're used to in previous COD games. And for example, from you know BO2 and BO3, or in those two games, we had the Tommy Gun, right? The Tommy Gun was famous for giving you tons and tons of points because the way the point system worked in every other Treyarch Zombies game before BO4 was if you had any gun or preferably a weak gun so in this case a Tommy gun every time you get a hit marker you get 10 points on top of that you get the points for the kill so you are getting tons of points because compared to the ray gun with that it was a one shot one kill and you got like no points so the Tommy gun was amazing here in BO4, that same Tommy gun that's on Blood of the Dead is completely useless when it comes to points because any gun can do what the Tommy gun does. So let me further explain what I mean by that. Here in BO4 Zombies, every single zombie is worth 90 points. It's no longer uh, having a weak gun and getting a billion hit markers and getting all those points. No, it does not work like that. A zombie is capped at 90 points either with the uh, Tommy gun or the ray gun or the winner's hell or whatever weapon you're using it is worth 90 points now you can get bonus points so a headshot is worth a hundred and twenty points in total so you have the 90 base plus that bonus for getting a headshot uh, a knife kill is worth 150 in total so again base of 90 and you get a total of 60 bonus points for getting a knife kill so that's how the point system works here in BO4 Zombies. One thing we're mentioning is when we're actually in game you guys can see in the bottom left corner where your points are when you're actually getting kills uh, all the points in yellow is standard points you're getting from zombies no matter what you're using no matter how you're killing the zombies those are standard points when you ever see your points in green those are bonus points so you want to see as much green as possible but now we're going to jump into four ways to really get as many points as humanly possible here in BO4 Zombies. One thing I forgot to mention is how this point system works in co-op because if I'm playing a game with my friend and I have one zombie and I say get 60 points from that one zombie, my friend comes in and he gets a normal body kill, so not a headshot, not a knife, he will only get 30 points. So that 90 point total is actually shared between players. Starting things off here in the number four spot, we wanna go ahead and use all of the special weapons that allow us to get melee kills. And the thing that makes this so awesome is of course, in the first, you know, five rounds, we are focusing on getting melee kills, which is awesome, but you get to a certain point, like for me, it's usually like between round 10 and 20, where I have, say, a, you know, one gun path, or I have some of my perks, and I kind of want to do more things, and I want to get more melee kills, but obviously my Bowie knife or my normal knife won't be getting melee kills on, like, round 15, and that's where these special weapons really come in handy. When we look at the two 
storylines, of course, we have different special weapons. So in the Chaos storyline, every single special weapon allows you to get melee kills. So if you play a lot of Voyage, a lot of Nine, you are set there. No matter what you're using, you have that ability. But in the Aether storyline, I think the only one that actually allows you to get melee kills is the Path of Soros, which is okay because the Path of Soros is like super OP. It's amazing. So that is the way to go if you want those melee kills. But this is definitely step one into really getting a lot of points is making sure we are using the right special weapon. In the three spot, let's make sure we are now using the right weapon. So with the new point system here in BO4, like I mentioned in the start of the video, weapons like the Tommy gun and pretty much all of the SMGs here in BO4 aren't as valuable and useful as they once were because SMGs used to be point guns, not anymore. So since now every single gun is pretty much on even playing field, using power weapons like shotguns and snipers are a lot more valuable in the early rounds. I don't know about you guys, but back in like other Treyarch Zombie games, so from BO3 all the way down to World of War, using a sniper or a shotgun in early rounds kind of felt wrong, right? You want points, not kills. Here in BO4, it's the opposite. We want to use things like snipers or shotguns because it's a one-shot kill, but you know what? We're getting the same amount of points as using uh, an SMG and especially snipers because snipers, it's a one shot to the head. And if you have your snipers ranked up, you have attachments, it makes using those snipers actually a really, really awesome play. So we have to start using the right weapons now since the point system is just completely different. Coming in at the number two spots, now that we really understand how we gain points here in BO4 Zombies, we're gonna have to go ahead and start changing our class loadouts. And one thing you should do right away is please put on Deadshot Dealer. Deadshot's always kind of had a bad rep. You know, in BO1 it wasn't great, in BO2 it was definitely at its best, in BO3 it sucked. Here in BO4, it is now a phenomenal perk because not only does it snap to the head super quickly and it's just so powerful along with the modifier, now that headshots is one of the only ways to get those bonus points, Deadshot is now your best friend. Where I need the most points when I'm playing zombies is between rounds 10 and 20, right? That's where I'm spending the majority of my points, usually upgrading all my guns all the way to max damage, and that requires a ton of points. Now, the first 10 rounds obviously are all about knifing, but where Deadshot really shines, and you really notice how many points you're getting with these headshots is in that 10 to 20 area, which makes this perk just so incredibly good. So. If you guys haven't tried this perk yet, please throw it on. I promise you, not only is it a great perk, but you guys will see and notice how many more points you're getting per game. Coming in at the number one spot, it's obviously knifing. Knifing is such an important thing now since that is the way to get the most amount of points here in BO4 Zombies, but let's go over some strategies on how we can get even more points than just, you know, normal knifing. So, first thing, obviously, is every game you play, you should buy the Bowie Knife except for Blood because there is no Bowie Knife. You do have the Golden Spork, but obviously, buying the Bowie Knife is amazing because that will give you at least, like, the first 10 rounds of one knife. So, if you're playing casual, I think it's 14 or 15, but in Classic, it's 10 rounds. Now, the next thing is every single game you guys play, you have to use Temporal because when you get any old points in the first 10 rounds, things just get absolutely crazy. I'm not quite sure how much longer a drop is active with Temporal on. It feels like it's about a minute and a half to two minutes, but it's enough time to get a ton of kills. So when you have that long little points active, what you're doing is you are getting a total of 300 points per knife kill. And that is just insane. That is the best way to build up points, especially early in the game. So that's something you guys should be doing every single time. You really need points. Make sure you're keeping an eye out on what drops are dropping and then go ahead and make sure you're popping temporal before you grab it all points. All these strategies and tips are amazing on their own, but when you combine all four together, that's when you just rack up a ton of points and you're concerned about points 
just disappear. So make sure you have the right special weapon on, making sure you're using the right weapons like snipers and shotguns because those guns are now super helpful in the early rounds making sure you're getting headshots with those weapons, and of course, using dead shots, and then of course, knifing, buying the Bowie knife, and really using temporal double points in the proper way. Besides that, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and smash a like, subscribe for a ton of BO4 Zombies top 5s and top 10s, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.